Hey guys and gals, welcome back to another Let's Play Bully Scholarship Edition. I am your host, Tim McKernan. We are on part eight. We gotta find out what's going on with our boy Jimmy today. Check this out, huh? New girlfriend, what? What's her name? Pinky. Wow, Pinky, you look... You look atrocious in that. Wow, that is there. terrible. Cute? Like, plague infested. Cute? Miserable. Okay, well, Jimmy, they can't all be winners. Let's get ourselves to some kind of class. It's gonna start here soon. Can't spend all day in the in the room just looking at our women. I need more growth hormone. Our better halves. Dress code. What are you guys freaking out about? My fish hat? I told you I have to wear that for religious reasons. You can't take me a hat off. Classes today. Geography class. Oh, this is fun, but it gets real hard when you get to Jama to the Car Caribbean. Good day, everyone. I'm Mr. Matthews, your geography teacher. I know you're all enthusiastic and ready to learn. Otherwise, why would you be here? Forced to be here. Okay. Germany. Finland. Great Britain. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Great Britain. France. Hmm. A fair guess, but I'm afraid yes. it's okay. Ireland. Try again. Okay, if I lose because of this. Sweden. Heavens! Whatever Should gave you that Norway? idea? No, I'm what? sorry, that is incorrect. Okay, let's get some cheap points. Spain. Poland. Oh, you guys know why the Polish flag is white and red? So I have Polish heritage, and uh, when the white is on top, um, it means that the country is in a time of peace, apparently. No Austria, that really sucks. Romania. And when the red's flown on top, then, yeah, then it means it's a war. Okay, what is this? Denmark? Denmark's got to be here. Okay. Then Sweden? Far left? Try again. Really? Oh, Scandinavia, you lead the world in so many things, and I don't even know your flags. You've charted a fine course for yourself, son. Bravo. Yeah, it's all for the fish hat. Sorry. I just got back from some exercise, and nothing better than, like, chilling out with... Nice ice cold glass of Jimmy Hopkins juice. Delivers. So stay hydrated, folks. Should we wait for our next class? I think our next class is coming. You all right? Nice one, genius. Thanks, dog. I am a genius. Let's go see what Edna's up to. You guys want to pants her? I really want to pants her. This is going to be ridiculous. Oh, I didn't pants her? I pinched her in the butt? Oh, man. Oh, my God. Harassing little kids. Gets, gets the biggest response. Guys, get the shit out of my way. Oh man, they are hot on my trail. <laughs> stop, stop, you'll make me puke. Better keep quiet. 
Man. Pinch a kid in the butt and it is just... It is the big issue. Okay, where's my class? Upstairs. Man. I really thought that that was pantsing, but... No. Butt pinching. Okay, let's check out maths. Or maths, as it is in every part of the world, I think, except for the U.S. I hope everyone's ready to learn something. This isn't English class, you know. Oh, sick burn. Aim pointer. Select answer. Slow pointer. Seven. Fifty equals... Yeah. Thirty-six. How many triangles? Two? What is smallest? What is biggest? Planet. Which is lowest? Eleven. Point five. Which is slowest? Sloth. That's three times forty. Two. Which is fastest? Ooh. I want a bike. You're not even trying, are you? Really? The truck? Eleven times nine. Nine. Wrong. Well, which is fastest? A uh, rocket ship? How many squares? Uh, five. That's Seventeen. Nine. Which is fastest? Race car. Point two. Or one over two. Which is tallest? Pyramids. Which is highest? Seventy-nine. Ten. That's enough for today. Good work. Yeah, math class is cool and all, but you don't really get like character abilities out of these ones. You just get like Did you see that? Clothing and I think a lot of the clothing even gets you in trouble because you're like not dressed properly, so it's kind of a kind of a bummer. Let's go to the Red Star. Help out the Socialist Party. I wish I could pinch that kid's butt as he rides the bike. the old creepy gazebo. Yeah, let's start the boxing challenge. Hey, Adrian! Bite his ear off, Jimmy. <laughs> That's the best you can do. There's not much to this. Uh, at least at this level, it's just kind of a lot of punching. Hopkins, surprisingly tough. Hey, kiddo. His left eye looks swollen. Knockout. Nice, extra punch damage. That's done pretty good. And done right. To get a girlfriend around here. Start prep challenge. Hmm. 
Maybe I can use this to my advantage. A dream home in the Vale worth a million bucks? Just like you. Okay, kiddo. It's nothing personal. But I gotta have that million dollar house. Think about the property values I'd be... Property tax I'd be paying on that. Oh, man. Even at 1%, I'd just be poor for the rest of my life. Clean in that house. Don't worry. Jimmy's tough. I've got a lot of money to bet on this. <laughs> That's the best you can do. Okay, so if you charge up a punch, you can break his block. I've got a lot of money to bet on this. His left eye looks swollen. Hopkins, you're such a whip. I want to see some Time's up. I love watching a good match. I don't know anything about boxing. I'd be loving to like throw a bunch of references your kid's way, but I, I really can't. All I know is bite him in the air. What else? Uh, name all your kids named George. I was gonna tell you about boxing. Oh yeah, I think um, the Rocky movies. That I'll do a round against Hopkins after this. Rocky, he's basically mentally handicapped. It's just the feeling I get from his character. Like it's just kind of like a Forrest Gump situation. Oh, don't worry, Jimmy's tough. I mean, any time he has any piece of dialogue, he just sounds so like uh, encumbered by a slow responding brain. <laughs> so yeah, that's about all I could tell you guys about boxing. Okay, ginger boy. It's a wonder Hopkins is still standing. It is not a wonder why Hopkins is still standing. Hopkins is surprisingly tough. Look at that ridiculous fighting. Give him some of that special army stuff. It's a wonder. Yeah, the only sports I did as a kid. Soccer or foosball? <laughs> Low scoring and ties, ties, ties. Um, refereed that stuff. Made a lot of money as a kid doing that. That was a great source of income. If you got like a younger brother or sister, they're looking for good money, man. Get involved in the soccer ref association. That paid pretty darn good. But it's hard work. I could do so much better, you know? Um, and then I play a lot of water polo in high Hopkins, school. You're such a whip. It's a That's a cool Hopkins sport, man. Water polo's... Water polo's got it all. I don't know. It might not sound like it if it's, like, completely foreign to you. But that thing is high scoring. Violent as all get out. Um, I could do so much better, you know? Uh, it's got a shot clock, so the the game is constantly running, and it's over with before it gets boring. It's like 28 minutes. I don't know. I, next time the Summer Olympics come up, which I guess is postponed, for 2021 maybe, really, if, if you haven't seen a game of water polo, it's seriously awesome stuff. I guess it's just, it's team sport, so there's all that kind of tactics involved. Um, I really liked it. I liked playing it. And I like watching it. And I am not a sports kind of guy at all. God, come on, bastard. <laughs> That's the best you can do. Knock him unconscious. I've got a lot of money to bet on this. When I was in college, I roomed um, the first year. I was in college. I roomed with three kids from Los Angeles. They were on my floor. And one of them was a boxer named Jimmy, actually. <laughs> and um, I can't remember how it worked. We were like, hanging out at the high school. There was a high school behind the college. We were there for some reason. I don't even know why. And uh, there was some kid, like some really big high school senior. And I was a college freshman. So we were, we're talking, you know a year difference in age at most I could do so much and I don't know this guy Jimmy had his boxing gloves he had two sets of boxing gloves with him 
He wanted to spar or something, I don't know what the hell. And, uh, yeah, somehow got me and this kid I didn't even know convinced that we should spar each other. And, uh, all it was was just us throwing fists at each other as fast as we could for, like, 30 seconds. <laughs> Until we were both completely exhausted. It was the most ridiculous thing ever. I think we can go. Right. So I did do boxing. Give once. me my prize. And it hurt There's a lot. No problem. Your parents have to be members of the board for you to be eligible. Tell you what, old chap. We'll give you that old abandoned beach house. Should be nice once you clean it up. So they they ripped me off, huh? They didn't want to give me the million dollar house. That's not cool, man. But having the beach house is really great. That's really really awesome. Your bed becomes available at 7 p.m. Really? You can go to bed that early? I'll show you guys the beach house. Okay, let's go right over here. Kind of sucks that you can't exactly um, ride a skateboard there. So this is what happens if you ride a skateboard on sand. Oh wow, it goes a lot better than I thought it did. What's up, Doc? You can't beat my swimming record. Well, okay. You just don't have the poise. I don't have the poise to swim around the buoy and back. Oh, I'll show you, Chad. <laughs> better collect this. To that buoy and back. Come on, fish hat. I think it's a timed issue. Oh, it is, okay. I have quite a bit of time. I suppose the other sport I did was swimming. I did some swimming, but it was not nearly as fun as water polo is. Twenty bucks, and I get a tiny swimsuit to boot. Okay, well, we obviously got to see what that looks like on us. Obviously, have to see, guys. Obviously, uh, changing. Okay, so we got to get it direct. Okay, legs. Tiny swimsuit. Can I go nothing on top? I guess not. Okay. Well, whatever. That's the tiny swimsuit. Okay, jeans casual. Now oh, that looks terrible, man. Oh, it's because of the feet. What's going on with those? But still, I don't like the jeans. School slacks. Oh, and why do I have this stupid ninja hat on? Fish hat. Thank you. No! Chase. There we go. Yeah, so this is our crib. Okay. It's where we sleep. Got a nice fully stocked bar. Could bust up. What have we here? Break up this poker game. You will not be gambling in my father's house. Which is I'm sure what some rich kid said in here once. Let's check the game out. 
I think it's also City Race. Future Street Race. 3D. Metro Town. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, it's the same game from a different perspective. Do you guys remember, I think in like the first or second episode I was playing the arcade at school. It's kind of the lame version of this game. Guys. Futurist 3D. <laughs> games within video games. So awesome. I don't know they are like way out in front. Boom. Yeah, that's better than a Wipeout game or F-Zero. Ever. <laughs> no, I don't want to play the next race. So yeah, that's Future Race. <laughs> Got a mission that we can do? Let's go do a mission. So long, sweet house. God, man. Everyone is just like making out. But you don't like that, huh? You could grab her fan. You better not damage my clothes. Kid, chill out. Come on, you big baby. <laughs> Guys, chill out. Leave me alone. Come to Papa. Okay, all the activities going down here at the Bullworth uh, Boxing Gym, huh? What do you rich kids want from me now? This way? Would you please dress appropriately? Okay. We need new clothes.
Where is the shopping center? Okay, there it is. Just around the corner. Can I do something with the homeless? Hey there. You don't scare me, you know. You're so entertaining. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Hello. You know you should try the new Aquaberry vest. Very popular That's with the incredible. better class of students. How wonderful. Look at those outfits. Rough and rich. <laughs> Luxurious dead. School chick. Or chic. Thank you. And do please stop by again soon. This might come in handy. <laughs> Rough and rich. Oh god. <laughs> god, yeah. There was a certain kind of what's the word for it? Um God, we make a lot of social commentaries on things. Oh, the Simpsons were very God, what word am I trying to say? Ah, oh, I'm totally blanking on it. But um yeah, 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 I'm going to bed, officer. Um, yeah, but basically it's like when you make kind of observations about society. Um, satires? I don't know if that's it, if it's satirical. If that, that might be the right word. But yeah, I love the advertisements in Rockstar games. They're so satirical, if that's, if that's the actually the right word I want to use. But yeah, just rich and rough i mean <laughs> you know like you see like these hard-working people and advertisements buying like 600 hundred dollar pants you know it's all just nonsense <laughs> rich and rough okay we're so far away that like I'm not even going to bother going to class. Unless it's art class. Then I'm going. <laughs> oh my god, yes! Oh, that's hilarious! Got hit in the head with a frisbee. Ah, oh, frame rate is such garbage in town. Start the eggs. Look, there he is. I was wondering if you'd show up, Hopkins. Nice aquaberry sweater. Trey Sheep. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You look a bit like my gardener at home. Yeah, so what? Yes, well, enough yeah, about yeah, gardeners yeah. or any domestic help. Listen, me and the champs were planning a little revenge hit on old hat trick. We don't like what he did to that old soap Galloway. A chap could have a drink if he bloody hell wants to. So? <laughs> So, my friend, are you, as they say, in? Sure. Are you English? Well, no. I just speak this way because I'm very insecure. You see, my father is a self-made man, so I pretend to be old money, but in fact, I'm really nouveau riche. But less about me, dear boy. Listen, we're going to egg that old codger's house. Cool. Smashing! 
You go get some eggs and meet me and the chaps back at my house. Let's go to the Yum Yum Market. Oh, I already got eggs. Okay. Well, let's let's load up. Chemistry class. Oh man, we do want to do that. We want to power up our chemistry as much as we can. I think chemistry empties into English, so we can miss the afternoon class. No one cares about English. Or rather, I should say, I don't have my notes ready for it. Come on, I'm coming. Yes, I'm sure. Please leave your assignments on my desk as you enter. Oh, right. I didn't give one, did I? Oh, well. Good job. Keep paying attention. It's getting a little complicated now. Keep up the good work. You're almost done. Wow. Okay, good. Excellent work today. <laughs> I'm seriously sitting there, like, really thinking in my head. I'm like, okay, the Super Nintendo X is here. The Xbox X is where? Oh, man. I'm the best. Simple. Okay, I'm gonna pull up the English lesson here. I know it's the next class, English. Hi, it's me, Sheldon. I, your trousers are kind of flattering. Oh, you like my trousers? Just trying to get my crib notes here ready for my English class, Beatrice. Just, just chill out a little bit, okay, sweetheart? Oh, wow. English 4 has a lot of words. You guys want to pinch some bum? Let's go in here. What I can use? Oh, you were... Hey, girl. Why are you so injured? What happened? All good? You're on camera. <laughs> yeah. Ever been to a martial arts tournament? I thought I heard somebody. Okay. <laughs> English is upstairs, I think, right? Hey, Jimmy! Think you can help me out? I would, but it's class time. <laughs> Here we go. English. English 4. Any arc can car. Alright, you know the drill. What, sit in my chair and flip around all quick? Do the assignment and be quiet. I'll just be sitting here drinking my... Yeah, that's the drill, baby. Car. That's right! Any. Well done. Arc. Good show. Can. Good one. 
on. Keep it up. Okay. Like. Good one. Okay. Koi. Good show. Right. That's right. Nay, nor, or. Nay. Well done. Nor. Keep it up. Or. Good show. Ran Ray Raya. What? Good one. Well done. Okay, what word is this? That's right. Raya? Yawn, Connie, corn. Yawn? Nice Keep it up. Yawn. I mean, what is this for a word? Connie. Well done. Corn. Good one. Cran, cran, narc, narc. Good show. Let's get the big words. Crayon. That's right. Rayon. Keep it up. Okay, good. We passed. Uh, crony. That's a good word. Some of those That's three right. letter words. Yawn. Raya. Uh, racy. Good show. Yarn. Good one. Acorn. Well done. What about a corny? Roan. Keep it what kind up. of word is that? Nar Narcy. Good one. Oh, nary. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we did enough. Stupid English class. Well done, James. Well done indeed. How can I be expected to survive on so little food? Say that one more time and I'll punch you in the face! You'd sound less stupid if you stopped talking. It's easy I'll when you know deal now. with bullies from a distance. I wonder, did the army receive my application? Would not be caught dead with those shoes! Looking good today. Yes, I was a student at Bullworth before becoming a renowned brain... It's time for me to play doctor with my dog. I wish Beatrice all the best in the future. Okay, let's go back to Bullworth Vale and help out some rich kids. Because they got to look rich and rough. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. I admit it. Skateboarding directly into a pole. Sean looks so ridiculous riding a bike. He's the one who's like always got his pants like open. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yum yum market. You suck. Yum yum market. Uh, hold the door open. Welcome to Yum Yum. My shoe. Nothing says make out with me like a bouquet of flowers. It's true, candy is dandy. I can have a couple of candies. I told you it was food fries. Pesolo. Pizla pop. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, yeah, we gotta start the quest again. The eggs. Look, there he is. We already know this. Just such a studious student. Just the eggs are gonna have to wait. I got some learning to be done, kid. Typical popper hat. Don't you honk at me. Okay, Halloway lives up here. Because private school teachers probably get paid enough to actually... People leave stuff lying around you know, everywhere. ...afford nice houses. so cool. I just like look out my curtains on the street and just scowl at everyone who just came by. Everyone. So stupid. Hey you. Just goodwill do <laughs> hitting on everyone, huh? Someone puke on your head. Hey, what's up? There's no welfare office around here. Get out. There's no welfare office around here. Get out. the eggs, Hopkins? You bet. Then give them to me. Take them. Smash it. Now tell me, Hopkins, is it true you said I was inbred? No, because first cousins is legal, my friend. Legal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and just because my elder brother doesn't have a chin and ended up in a lunatic asylum, it doesn't mean anything. Whatever, Tad. Your family is your business. Don't lie, Jimmy. You said Tad was probably a hermaphrodite with that much inbreeding. A hermaphro what? Don't act dumb. You said his mom was also legally his aunt, and that he probably had webbed toes. I don't. Well, just only on one foot. Tad, you're not gonna take that kind of crap from this scumbag, are you? You've... You, you've been rude about mommy. Let's get this, Papa. In you're going am to I? Sorry, Tad. You just, you just gotta go down, homeboy. It's just, you gotta. And you? Oh, what an awful oh, that, that really messes him up. eggs back. And we're gonna egg his house while we're here. You don't care? supposed to trigger? Don't you wish you had the key, Jimmy? I have a key and you don't. Um. See ya! Double KO. <laughs> Just what I was 
Slingshot. Can't grab this one, huh? This kid's tough. Pinky's freaking out. Man, this kid's got a lot of hits. Tad's nothing. That's a big joke, but. back to the beach house. It's enough mischief for one day. Cop tries to go for the legs. kiddos i think we're gonna end the video there thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are enjoying the series if so like comment all that fun youtube stuff and i hope at the very least to see you in the next video thanks for watching have a great day and bye for now